Suzanne Giles. Hi. How are you? How are you? You're a star now. Uh, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Come right on over here. Are you just like exhausted? A, a little bit, yeah. Are you? What's the craziest thing that's happened to you so far since all of this? Um, I, I was on Jay Leno. Yes. <laughs> and I met Jack Black. Yeah. And that was really, really cool. <laughs> that was really cool because he's, uh, you're a big fan of his? Yeah, I am. This has kind of been a whirlwind for you. Tell me, what kind of offers have been coming into you so far? Because I know, I was thinking that you could possibly do a hair commercial. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I, I've been doing press since I got off the show, so yeah. I haven't gotten any calls, but I'm sure that my agent has. I'm sure. It's, any? it's crazy. I, I mean, you haven't heard anything coming uh -uh. in yet? No, I've been, I've been busy. Right. But hair commercial, possibly? I'm sure. Yeah. Acting roles? I'd love to do acting. I'd love to do modeling. I'd uh -huh. love to do Broadway and, of course, music still. Right. And I just, I, I really want to experience the full entertainment business. And, yeah. And just have fun with it. Now, I understand Mr. Billy Ray Cyrus, mm -hmm. um, you guys took a picture together. Yeah. And are you appearing on Hannah Montana? Um, he talked to me about it. He mentioned it to me because we're in we shoot in the same studio. So, right. Um, it, I, I'd love to. It would be a possibility, but right. I, I, I honestly don't know. So. Okay. Uh, okay. Tell me about the hair. Tell me about the pohawk. Um, <sighs> you know that became a huge, huge thing on the show. People were, you know, imitating the pohawk. You know. What impact do you think that had? I mean, that was definitely a statement for you because people were tuning in just to see what you were going to do. Um, that was, basically that was me putting my true personality out there. Uh -huh. I just wanted to like be myself and just have fun mm -hmm. and, and make a statement, like yeah. you said. And it, I mean, it was, it was fun. Right. That's basically all I really wanted to do. And then people... Like saw that and was like, whoa, whoa, yeah. what's what's going so on? So was it a strategy? Did you say I'm going to change my hair up this week just to get people talking? Uh, not necessarily. No, um, I I wanted to do a f well. By that time, I'd kind of become the guy with the hair because yeah. I came into the competition thinking, okay, I just want my hair to look presentable, so because I'm on TV and I, I need to look nice or whatever. So, um, and once people like started being like, oh, he's the guy with the hair, he has yeah. nice hair, blah, 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 whatever. Um, I, I caught on to that and right. went with it because we have awesome hair guys on the, right. on the show. And, and your final song was, let's give them something to talk about, but you changed the lyrics yeah. and said, other than hair. Yeah. Why did you do that? Well, I, I wanted America to see that, I mean, we get distracted by really little things. Mm -hmm. I mean, some jazz hair. Right. And there's so many more important things that we could be thinking mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanted to put that out there, like, come on, America. Right. It's just hair. It's, I mean, if I shaved it off, it would be a big deal, but right. it, it grows back, it's just hair. Right. So I just, I just wanted to uh -huh. put that out there. Okay, now that you're off the show, what do you really think about Simon Cowell? Honestly? Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> um, I, think that, I think that in the first auditions, he saw potential in me. Mm -hmm. And when I didn't live up to that potential, he was disappointed in me. Mm -hmm. And so when he gave me bad comments or whatever, I think that was him saying, I'm disappointed in you, mm -hmm. step up. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I saw something in you the first audition, mm -hmm. where is that? And so I, I really respect him. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot from him. I learned, actually I learned more from him than I did from anyone else really? on the show. Really? What a compliment, yeah. yeah. Cause he's, I mean, he's amazing. He's amazing at what he does. Mm -hmm. and. To have someone be that brutally honest and uh -huh. not n like totally unbiased mm -hmm. is really, I mean, it's hard to get. People... Do you think that you didn't live up to the expectation? Um, I think that sometimes I didn't live up to his ex expectation. Mm -hmm. um, I never, I, I don't regret anything I did because, mm -hmm. I mean, I, like I said, I, I learned from right. him. I learned from everything that I do. And so to, be like in a show like this that that is so concentrated, uh -huh. like concentrated education. Right. It's it's really you have to make mistakes in right. order to learn. Right. Did it hurt you that you felt maybe some people were voting 
for you for the wrong reading reasons. Did that hurt you at all? No, because I mean, anyone who is voting for me based on Howard Stern or vote for the worst, they're not. They're going to vote maybe a couple times. Right. But and that's not going to make a difference because mm -hmm. a, a true fan will vote for right. ours. And so I, I honestly think that I got to where I did because of my fans.